Thursday morning. I'm meteorologist Michelle Morgan with our 10 a.m. tropical update. And today is September 8th. Uh, the, the tropics remain pretty busy, especially over the Atlantic Basin. Uh, thankfully, we don't have any uh, tropical or direct tropical threats to the Gulf Coast. That includes southeast Louisiana. But here's what's going on. We're continuing to monitor Earl, which is a hurricane, and Danielle, which is continuing to weaken over the northern Atlantic. And we're also monitoring two spots in the central Atlantic. One area has a better chance of tropical development in the next couple of days or so, but it is looking really good on satellite imagery and it may become our next tropical depression or even our next tropical storm later on today. We'll continue to watch it and that red hatched area that is highlighted uh, from the National Hurricane Center where it may develop. Another wave just emerged off the coast of Africa a cluster of showers and also thunderstorms and has a low chance of development in the next five days or so. We'll watch that long term, but again, not a threat to the Gulf Coast. So let's go ahead and talk about Hurricane Earl looking very good on satellite imagery here. A lot of the convection is wrapping around the center of the system. The eye is trying to clear out, but still pretty uh, ragged at the moment. It is fighting light wind shear at the moment, but it is sustaining itself here with winds of 105 miles per hour moving to the north north east at 13 miles per hour. So the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center, this may become our first major hurricane of the season as early as today. So we'll continue to watch it here. Uh, no direct impacts to the island of Bermuda, but it may bring tropical storm conditions to the country later on today and also tomorrow morning. As we take a look at the rest of the forecast track, it is expected to become a category four hurricane as we go through our Friday evening. And it'll continue to head out to the northeast, eventually dissipating as it moves over cooler waters over the northern Atlantic. So as we take a look at the forecast wind gust here, again, as I mentioned before, tropical storm force winds are expected because the system will stay southeast of Bermuda. So a lot of those stronger winds will side swipe that country as we go through the rest of today and tomorrow. And because of that setup, there's actually a tropical storm war warning and also a hurricane watch in effect for that country. I also want to show you the visible satellite imagery here because the system looking very impressive here. You could see a lot of the colder uh, cloud tops here or the higher cloud tops wrapping around the center of that system as it meanders over the Atlantic. So right now, Danielle, it is a post tropical cyclone because it has lost a lot of its tropical uh, characteristics because it's fighting strong wind shear. So that's your upper level winds and also it's moving over cooler water. So again, these tropical systems, they need that cooler water to sustain itself and it's really losing its fuel. So right now it has winds of 65 miles per hour with stronger wind gusts of 75 miles per hour and it is moving to the north northeast at 14 miles per hour. So as we zoom into to the system here, you can see a lot of the convection, the thunderstorms storms are found on the northern side of the center of that system here. So the latest track from the National Hurricane Center is going to do a loop-de-loop -loop as we go through the rest of today, also tomorrow into the weekend, and it's going to become a low-pressure system as it heads into Portugal, probably Spain, and it might be a rainmaker to those countries as early as uh, next week. Uh, we're still monitoring a tropical wave and now it's called invest 95 so we're continuing to investigate this area and hurricane hunters they're going into this area checking it out to see what's going on and it still looks very messy as we take a look at the sat satellite imagery here it's also fighting some strong wind shear but it could potentially be our next named storm as early as today and a lot of the models here as we take a look at the spaghetti plots it keeps it as a fish storm staying over the atlantic basin not affecting any land and it is moving to the west northwest at 18 miles per hour and is packing winds of 40 miles per hour. So again, if that system, if it does get a name here, it looks like the next name on the list is Fiona. Uh, so, so far we've only had um, five storms. So I do wanna show you what's staring these systems here. There, we still have a very strong area of high pressure over the Central Atlantic, as that continues to expand, there's going to be another area of high pressure that is going to develop really on the eastern side of the United States. With these two areas, a lot of these systems, they're going to funnel between them. So that's why a lot of these systems are taking that northeasterly turn 
over the Atlantic. So just to mention, we're a few days away from the peak of hurricane season, which is around September 10th, and things are indeed very busy in the Atlantic Basin. So we'll continue to watch things. As of right now, there are no direct tropical threats to Southeast Louisiana or the Gulf Coast. And also to mention, I took, I looked at all of the long range models and things are looking pretty quiet for the next week or so in the Gulf of Mexico, which is good news, of course. So that does it for me. That's your 10 a.m. tropical update. Today is September 8th and I'm meteorologist Michelle Morgan.